Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of the Heavenly Father. For he makes his son rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Welcome to I Got Today, your daily meditation. I'm Father Sony Sebastian SVD, a Divine Word Missionary Priest. And today is June 18th, Tuesday. It is nice to be with you sharing this reflection. The saying that Jesus uses today, you must love your neighbor and hate your enemy, turns things upside down and sounds very unrealistic. He tells us actually to love our enemies and to pray for those who persecute us. How can we be asked to do such a thing? Yet, if we would only reflect a little, the advice of Jesus makes a great deal of sense and in fact is really the only way to go for our own happiness and peace. To understand what Jesus is saying, we need to clarify Two words, love and enemies. Who are our enemies? They can either be the people that we are hostile towards or people who are hostile to us. The practicing Christian who takes on board the teaching of Jesus will want to have positive attitudes to people in general and will not marginalize anyone on the basis of race, nationality, color, class, gender, or whatever. Such a person will not want to act in a way unnecessarily to create hostility in others. What does love mean here? The word that the gospel uses is from the Greek word agape. Agape is a unilateral way of loving. It is a sacrificing and self-emptying love. Love that is unconditional. What Jesus is saying is that God's love, His agape, reaches out indiscriminately to every single person, irrespective of their behavior. You must therefore be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Perfection here refers to that unconditional agape that God extends to every single person. If we are to grow into the likeness of God and give witness to His presence in the world, we need to act in exactly the same way. Lord, help me to see you in my brothers and sisters and love them as I love myself. Let me not hate my enemy, rather forgive and extend the same love. 